Today's video about Kentucky tackle uh, Darius Kennard. Uh, play tackle for Kentucky. I think he projects as an NFL guard. But we're going to watch cl uh, some clips of him against Georgia. No better competition. And we're going to determine whether he's a guard or tackle first and how good of a guard or tackle can he be. Uh, roll the intro. Let's go. All right, first off, I want you to notice his quick feet. Let's see if I can get back to it. I think I went too far. All right, obviously, they're running the outside zone away from him. So, outside zone that way. Here's our guy here, right there. So watch, he got a head up, head up guy on him, head up technique on him. And watch how fast he can sit inside and then get this guy walled off, you know, to so he won't be able to get in the, get in the play or even, you know, get a, court, a cutback for the ball carry, which I think is going to be a jet sweep. He's in the gap already before 95 can even get a step down. Now. When contact, he don't do too much. He kind of go backwards. But he has the wherewithal to, to get get turned. And so now if the running back sees this, he got that lane. You know, but in the jet sweep, they're going so fast, he probably missed it. But, you know, had it been a guy with, you know, a little bit slower, a little bit more vision or anticipation, he could have hit that thing right there and only had to, you know, make 25 moves. That's a good job of lateral quickness, though. Love this double team. Love it. Watch how he getting the hip of the other guy that's going over the guard. Watch how he getting the hip. And watch the movement. All right, 99 engaged. That's Davis. And he get right in that hip. That's perfect. Now watch how much movement Davis get. Davis is, has one foot on the hash. Watch this. Way on the other side of the hash and off balance. And he has a well with all to come off and be right there on Nicobe Dean. So, a little bit further. Look at the lane the quarterback got. Because his double team, his combo block. Now, 99 got back in the play, but then that ain't but that ain't uh seven his fault. Seven did his job and came off on the linebacker. The other people up, up front didn't do theirs. And that's a great job of being able to move Big Davis because we all know how big he is. Now I initially don't like this this King Cone hookahs high uh the Samoan dance, initial first step. Watch this big old Haku first step. And if I'm using that wrong, I'm sorry. Just watch. That's slow. And it don't look slow in slow motion, but watch it in full speed. He just basically picked that foot up and put it back down. And he beating the pavement with it. Beating the pavement with it. But that guy, with that guy not being an immediate threat, put that foot in the ground and go. So you can meet him and don't take the blow. Now, again, slapping that on, which I don't know why, but that's a linebacker. Get your hands inside. Get your hands inside. Hands outside of him. The linebacker, you know, can pull him down because his hands are outside. Now, he gets the linebacker at a disadvantage. Get him off balance and watch him finish. And nimble enough to keep on going down the field. I like it. But initially, he got to get them hands inside. Got to. And this is why I think he's top tier guard material right here. This is the first play to to bag up my hypothesis that he's a top tier guard and not necessarily a tackle in the NFL. I'm going to watch it full speed. That the ability, look how long it took him to, to stop. To, he not like he not light on his feet. Cause if, if thirteen doesn't slip, <laughs> he got free reign to the QB. This watch the thirteen don't slip. He got free reign to the QB. Kick step, kick step, kick step. Now thirteen stops. And it's tough on a big man anyway. But, you know, the, the premier tackles can do it. And that, that is tough on a big man, but the premier tackles can do it. But at, at him at guard, 
Don't have to worry about that too much. Unless you're going against Aaron Donald or, or, the, or the upper echelon guys. Playing that tackle, you got to deal with it the entire game. Handled this bull rush from Davis pretty well. Kennard right here, if I'm saying it right. And this is Davis right there. You can't really see him in front of 25. But he handles this bull rush from Davis pretty well. Got a kick. Got a one-on-one -on -one with, with 95. Got the niche hands inside. Davis tries to rip. He stays with it. That's not a bad job right there. Not a bad job. Not being defeated by the rip. Got that right hand probably right on that, that nine of Davis. And was able to recover with his feet. Was able to recover with his feet. You don't have to recover with your hands. At this point, you're recovering with your feet. You try to play a little basketball in front of him. Not bad. All right. Now, on the occasion you do blitz and, you know, you so happen to get him on a linebacker. And 17 is one of the best linebackers in the country. Watch this. Kobe Dean, meet Kennard. And if you do so happen to blitz and he get one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, this is probably going to be the results unless he just get out quick. But if he get his hands on you, here you go, people. And look at the lateral quickness initially. Good finish. Look at the lateral quickness to, to get to that hole before he can get there. Watch, watch how fast he gets over here to beat Dean to that, to that spot. Watch. That's a full about three or four steps. He's he's at this spot. Let me see if I can mark it. He's at this spot. I'm going to see if I can play it. See how far he goes. That's about three or four yards before Dean can get a step off. Maybe one. And now he's going to finish him. That's how you finish right there. That's Pancake Central. Now the very next play. This is the main issue I have with him. Hand placement. What well, this the issue I have with hand placement. I already mentioned it earlier about that slapping off the hand and not shooting them hands up. And I don't know why he does it. It may be a uh something that he has to do or whatnot, or the way he was taught. But watch this with the hand placement. Or lack thereof. Hands outside. Eleven has his hands inside. I don't really know who eleven is, but I'm sure he's a way less than than Kennard. Now watch. Oh, I didn't mean to fast forward that. My bad. My bad, guys. I think I went too many plays. All right, here we go. Back in the same spot. He tries to drive, and because his hands not inside, he slips right off of it. Because your hand's not inside. He slips right off of it. Now, where does your running back have to go? Because this is where he was initially headed. Where does he have to go now? Now you got to retreat. Got to retreat. If you get your hands inside and drive him, I got every piece of confidence in the world that you drive this cat up out of there. Because of his structure. I mean, you know, his his structure and your structure. But you miss. Now you got the running back got to try to do some uh-uh. And now you miss again because you ain't agile enough to... And, and with him and the running back. And look who gets in on the tackle. Same guy you whiffed on. Or let's slide off you. And now, check this out. When he does get his hands in the right spot. Then I wear this hand not in the right spot. But that inside hand is. Now, there's no way for, there's no way for, um, who's that, Walker? That Walker for Georgia, there's no way for Walker to go. You got that inside hand in the right spot. Ragdoll. Ragdolled in. Just really, and, and I'm pointing this out because he's at tackle, but I don't think he'd ha he would have these issues at guard. And just look at the, the, the foot agility. He has, I think would be excellent agility, top of the line, you know, all pro type agility for an NFL guard. He has average agility for an NFL tackle. Watch this. And that's not being negative. I just think in NFL, he's he's a guard, not a tackle. He just, I mean, he saw 11. He just, his body just wouldn't allow him to 
Especially after he lunched. His, lunched, his body just wouldn't allow him to get back there. He sees him. He sees the stunt. He, Because he lunges at it. But now you just can't get back. That's just, that's genetics right there. There's nothing, you know, if he had guard, I don't think that's a problem. I think I'm, I'm going to end it on this one as far as the clips and I'll give you my little synopsis. Things are, in this play, there's things I love and things I hate or a thing I love or a thing I hate. Let's watch it. Uh, in case you don't know, he's here going against uh, Walker. Come on, the ball. Look at the hand. That's exactly where the hand should be. Exactly. Trying to rise up. Ex hands in the right spot. Trying to rise up. Keep it, keep it, keeping the leverage low. That's this perfect. That's perfect. Let's get that. Now let's go further. Now you want to dry your feet. So he raised up too much. I don't know if he got pushed up there. Yeah, he raised up too much. Walker didn't push him up there. Now Walker has the leverage. He went from having the leverage. He has the leverage here. Now to raising up too high. Now Walker got the leverage. In a matter of a, a split second. Came off the ball fine. Now because Walker has the leverage. And kind of the low. We all know the low man wins. That's a football term. Low man wins. Because he's fighting for leverage. Fighting for leverage. Walker just takes him. And slides him right on by. Now, granted, he don't make the play, but still, you want your you want your guy to, to be able to finish it, especially after initially winning the block. You want him to finish that, especially after initially winning the block. All right, so you know, after watching all that and watching, I had to watch some games with the broadcast view because that's the only one I could find for all twenty-two. Um, Knaud's a darn good guard prospect. He's definitely not a tackle. Not an NFL tackle. And maybe if one of your tackles get hurt, you can plug him in for a little while. But not a permanent stay at tackle. Um, I really like his, his lower body strength. Uh, he needs to work on his hand placement. And being at guard would help, him, would help him with what he lacks at uh, lateral agility as for his footwork. So I really like this prospect as a, as a top-tier guard, not as a tackle. Um, is, he a is he a starter from day one? Depending on the team, if he goes to a, I hate to say this, a sorry team, he probably could start that guard from day one. But if he goes to an established team that got decent guards there, he can kind of fill in a role and learn and learn the nuances of the position from those older guys and from the coaches and eventually be a starter year two or year three down the road. And, um, you know, potentially be one of the better guards in the league. But definitely a guard, not a tackle. And um, this is my synopsis of Darius Kennard from um, – Kentucky, uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Appreciate everybody that supports the Patreon, Cash App, PayPal. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.